Hello guys, let's talk more about the ideal gas equation and the gas constant R. So it is a little bit tricky because the value of R will change when dealing with different units of pressure, volume, and temperature. Let me show you why. If we look at the ideal gas equation, we can solve from there for R, the ideal gas constant. So that will equal to PV over N. T. And from this expression, it's obvious that if you are using different units of pressure, volume, or temperature, the unit of R and also the value of R should change. You can find a bunch of different values for R with whichever units you prefer. So I'm going to show you how to figure out which value and which units to use on the next example. So here we have carbon dioxide gas which was generated and collected in a 500 milliliter flask during a decomposition reaction. The question is how many moles of carbon dioxide gas was generated if the gas pressure is 1.8 atm at 23 degrees celsius okay so my approach is let's find the unit of r that contains the same unit as our pressure unit so here we have atms let's look at this nice little table did you find the one that contains atms i hope you did that's the second volume right and then we can see that we have liters in there. Our volume is given in milliliters, so we have to convert that. And we have Kelvins there, so we will have to convert the Celsius temperature into Kelvins. Okay, so let's start with the conversions. We know that volume equals 500 milliliter. And in order to convert that to liters, we need to multiply that by a fraction where liters are on the top milliliter are on the bottom and you are going to get 0 0.500 liters there. In order to convert the temperature, we need to take 23 degrees Celsius and add to it 273.15, but because of the sig figs, I'm only adding 273, which equals to 296 degrees in Kelvin. Okay, I think our units are right, so we are looking for the number of moles, so we have to solve the ideal gas equation for the number of moles. So N from here equals to PV over rt so let's plug in all the values the pressure is 1.8 atm multiplied by the volume in liters 0 0.500 liters and then that is divided by the correct value of r which i chose based on the unit of the pressure so 0 0.0821 liter atm divided by kelvin times mole and then we have to multiply that by the temperature in kelvin which is 296 kelvin okay now let's double check the units so the atm will cancel out the liters will cancel out the Kelvins will cancel out and our final unit is going to be moles. And if you do this calculation, you are going to get 0 0.037 mole. Okay, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.